This is not what I was expecting. It is a beautiful kind of spooky sight, but I've lost the trail. It goes out there somewhere. And so I'm going to have to turn around, go back down the way that I came. This is the trailhead. It was a long journey getting here, but finally I made it, heading into the wilderness. I'm going to make some progress up this trail here, and then I'll explain what's going on. And the views are already getting good. A little bit of snow up there, but not very much. A little more higher up there. Awesome. Fires have been through here. At least they weren't worse. Lots of trees still left. And one that fell for some other reason it looks like. Hey bear. Hey bear. Hey. Hey, gone. Just scaring them away. So I love how this uh, trail starts off kind of slight uphill and even basically flat. I've been back into this wilderness area a number of times before and entered into uh, the area through different trailheads. And some of them start a lot lower in elevation and so you have a lot of uphill climbing in the first day or two. So this one is a nice uh, easy walk for now. And for anyone who saw the uh, last video at the end there, where I parked the car, there was another vehicle. And it turns out that guy is not overnight camping back in here because he came back while I was getting all packed up and he was out uh, just mushroom hunting and then drove off. So my car is the only one at the trailhead. Probably not gonna see anyone else back here. All right, my first creek. That's a good sign. Or stream. There's a little bit of a chill in the air. It might be a cold night. However, it is warming up later in the week. It's actually gonna be a uh, serious hot spell for early May. Today is Cinco de Mayo, 5th of May on Friday in three days, then it's gonna be like upper 90s down in the lower elevations. So should be nice and toasty warm up here and no uh, precipitation, rain or snow or anything in the forecast. But uh, tonight, maybe tomorrow night could be a little chilly. And so I had a uh, bit of a scare with the vehicle driving in. You get onto a narrow little paved road, like forest service road, and then it turns to a gravel road and it is all uphill and I was going up an uphill part and noticed steam coming out of the engine and then looked at my temperature and it was all the way up into the red. And so I stopped, pulled over, turned off the engine, let it uh, cool down for a while, took off the uh, coolant cap and I must have just overheated the engine and then boiled off the coolant in there it must have been close to empty or something because fortunately I had a couple of gallons of water and poured in almost a full gallon of water into it, started it back up, and luckily it did not go back into the red. It started up fine, drove fine, and got me up here and never went above a uh, you know normal temperature rate. So at least it's downhill going back so it'll be a lot easier on the engine. Seeing some deer tracks along here. and a ridge there. I'm curious to see if there's gonna be a view looking out over there. I've actually uh, hiked this trail before a couple of times. The first was back when I was a kid. I'm from this general area further south down in Mendocino County. 
this is Humboldt County, and as a uh, kid, then my family came up here several times, and one of the times, then we hiked in at that same trailhead. And what's over the ridge? Ah, pretty nice little view. More fire damage. But things look good out there, at least. And a few little teeny tiny patches of snow up on the tops of those ridges, but hardly any. So I thought that I would do my best to uh, explain my general life situation, why I'm up here, what's going on. So uh, for those who got some uh, bigger tracks, looks like livestock. For those who might be uh, new to my channel or didn't see the uh, last video, then I'm a world traveler. I make YouTube videos, that's my job, and so I don't have a permanent home. I spent uh, seven months traveling around the world from uh, July until January, going to 23 different countries, and came back from there. And that was right when the whole virus situation hit. So I spent the past three months in the US, Mexico, and Canada, staying with friends and family and uh, in the Airbnbs and stuff. And then I got a offer to stay at a uh, cabin in the woods up here in Northern California and decided to go for it. Also, I got a, a new car, new old 20 year old car, and then decided to stop here and do a wilderness backpacking trip to get away from all the noise and traffic and internet and email and Facebook and crazy news and wearing face masks, all that stuff that's going on out there because we're still in the middle of the uh, global crisis and decided to escape to the wilderness and get a real break. Get some peace of mind, some quiet, a total shift from modern civilization and technology back to nature. So that's what's going on. I'll be out here for, I don't know, three, four, five, six, seven days, just as long as I'm enjoying it and depending on conditions and whatnot. Get some exercise, jump in some lakes, watch some campfires, eat some trail food, and enjoy this pristine wilderness area. Uh, just uh, was a little too late with the camera, but there's a, uh, a lizard. Hey, buddy. Good to see some wildlife. And the sun's coming out. Look at that feather. Amazing. And a real creek. Water definitely isn't gonna be a problem on this trip. Hopefully I get to a lake today. We'll see. And I think this is where I camped the last time I was out here in 2012. Firing there. But gonna keep on hiking. Got plenty of daylight left. It's probably 5 p.m. or something, but uh, I have no idea because I didn't bring a time uh, device of any sort out here. I left my phone, my watch, my clock. Don't wanna know what time it is. Doesn't matter. And look at that. That looks like it could be a bear print, although that's quite small. Not sure, but uh, there are bear back in here. Actually, the guy that I saw at the uh, trailhead at the end of the road where the uh, tree was said he'd just seen a bear while driving, I guess earlier today or something. So they are around. Hey, bear. Coming through. Hey, bear. Hey. Go on. Coming through. And things are getting prettier. A beautiful meadow here. And I think my first trail junction, Letter Buck Trail, Half Moon Trail, Monument Lake. To the right, to the left, 
McCash Loop, Stanshaw Trail, Ten Pear Trail. I don't know, but that's what the map's for. Hey Press Trailhead, that's where I came from, and a nice big camp here. All right, I am right there at that junction, and here's Monument Lake. That would be a good place to stay tonight, if I can make it that far, I think so. So, going right. Big tree across the trail. And another print here. I can't tell if that might be a bear or an elk. If it's going this way, then it's hooved to points right there. But maybe it's going the other way because it kind of looks like there's an indentation of multiple toes there, in which case it could be a bear. Not sure. Here's another one. Oh, there we go. That's more clear. That's got to be an elk. Lots of little mushrooms. Did you know that all mushrooms are actually edible? It's just that some are only edible once. This is a trippy area with this black and gray colors. I guess uh, fire came through here and maybe killed the trees and then they don't have any green on them? Or it's just uh, gone because of winter, I guess. And so I thought that I would mention that I am allowed to be back in here, even though because of the virus situation, then national parks are closed, campgrounds are closed, many places around the country. I think state parks are closed, but wilderness areas and national forests are still open and you're allowed to be in them. So it's perfectly fine that I'm back in here. And right there, hard to see, big old elk. There's another one, there we go. Awesome. Hey, and a third one. Hello, a bunch of them. And it's getting chilly now. Time to put the pants back on. And that's better, but uh, I wasn't expecting it to get quite this cold already before the sun's even gone down. It's not like cold, cold, but uh, it got, you know, a lot chillier there in just the course of an hour or so. So it is gonna be a cold night, and unfortunately my sleeping bag is not the best. I've had it for years and years, and it works fine 90% of the time, but uh, on especially cold nights, then it doesn't quite do the trick, and I'm left a bit cold, so. This might be a bit of a rough one tonight. I have long underwear and my Alaska hat and uh, gloves and a neck warmer and stuff, so I'll survive, but uh, tonight will be the coldest one. So it might be a long one, but uh, it should warm up in the coming days, hopefully. And look at that, a fog rolling in and lots more snow up on those hills there. And so in case you ever wondered why North Face gear is called North Face, here's a good example of why. South is roughly that way. And so this side of this hill is facing south and the side of that hill is facing north. And what's the difference between a North Face and a South Face? Well, no snow, snow. Of course, because the uh, sun is shining onto the south facing slopes and so the north face is harder there's more snow on it so that's why it's called north face 
And we got some signs up ahead here. Let's check it out. Round Meadow. I don't think I'm going down that way, but uh, I'll double check. Either way, I think that this is kind of good news that I'm getting fairly close to Monument Lake. Got a bison meat stick here. Give this thing a try. Mmm, oh yeah. Food always tastes better in the wilderness. That's just a rule. But that is tasty. Some good spices. And then also a uh, jerky venison stick. Slowing down here. It's been all uphill for a ways. And it looks like I'm at a top of a ridge or a hill, but I could be wrong. I'm hoping that it's going to go downhill soon because uh, I am wiped out and ready to get there. But it's kind of good news that there isn't that much snow, even though I went uphill a lot. I was afraid of the possibility of snow drifts blocking the trail to the extent of making it impossible to keep going. But hopefully this is the top of the hill, at this point of the trail anyways, and then it goes back down from here. Actually, this is now a uh, critical trail situation. <clears throat> Let's see what it's like up ahead. This might be as far as I go. No, I don't think so. I think I'll be able to keep on going. But I have to find the trail again. I've lost it. It's definitely a little spooky with this uh, fog rolled in here. Where is that trail? Holy crap. This is not good. This is what I was hoping would not happen, is this much snow. And can't see the trail. If it went around this way and there was less snow, that might be possible, but uh, I'm gonna have to seriously consider turning around. Did not expect to... Uh, there would be this much snow kind of all of a sudden because there isn't that much throughout there. Just barely got snow patched right there. But I cannot see the trail whatsoever and it is all snowy down there. And so I have a uh, backup plan, plan B, which is to go back down to the trail to Round Meadow and then head down that trail because I'll be going back downhill here a ways and then that trail also went downhill so uh, that's kind of looking like the only reasonable, practical, safe option. I bet it would be an absolutely epic view if there wasn't this uh, fog here. I'm going to uh, take off the pack and look around a little bit. This is sort of a trail, but that is not the real trail. But uh, if it's going down there, then obviously not. Um, if it were going along there, there isn't as much snow. But I think I'm probably out of luck on this one. What a shame. So I went back to that junction for Round Meadow and just a short ways further, here's a meadow. Oh, wow. Excellent. A nice camp. Because I am ready to uh, stop and take this pack off. Got to get through this uh, marsh. Let's use this rock. Not the lake that I was hoping to get to. And I'm actually a little bit confused because looking on the map, it wasn't exactly clear which junction that was right there. I could see Round Meadow and it was near the uh, trail that I was on, so it makes sense that I would be near Round Meadow. But uh, I couldn't quite tell which of a few, uh, basically two different uh, junctions I was at there. 
Um, so we'll find out in the morning. I mean, it's a easy shot getting back to where I came, you know, just go back that way. Uh, but uh, most likely tomorrow I will uh, get up and hopefully be able to keep on hiking down the trail this way. Although it's possible this might be the end of that trail and it just goes to this meadow and then stops. In which case, this is gonna be a much shorter trip than I had been hoping for. Let's see, is this, uh, well, let's uh, throw the pack off here and check and see if uh, this trail continues. I can't even tell if this is uh, the trail continuing, not really. Man, oh man. Well, anyway, I'm glad to be somewhere and looking forward to getting a fire going and cooking up some dinner. At least I got a nice uh, spot here with some awesome chairs. And nice firing. I need two more people. I know you can't see anything, but the tent is set up there and Look at this, fire. Oh yeah, that makes all the difference. So I'm going to uh, get that fire going really big to help scare away the bears and warm me up. That's much better. And check it out, got a full moon. And getting ready to uh, cook up dinner here. We got a rice and bean bowl with beef. And this is one of those really uh, cool things where it's all in the package and you just boil up some water, pour it in the package, and then close it up, wait 10 minutes, and it's ready to go. You don't even make your uh, pot dirty. That is if you don't mind just eating it out of the thing here, which is what I'm gonna do because I don't wanna have a dirty uh, pot or bowl or anything because I'm not at a lake and don't want it smelling up the uh, camp. So, uh, just spoon it out of here, and I bet that will be delicious.